What's up guys, it's Crash. I'm ready to put all this stuff with DICE behind us and move on to some more positive things, but there's some really concerning stuff in here that I want to put your guys' mind to and something just to keep an eye on moving forward with the Battlefield franchise. I haven't made a video since we saw the community manager post that Ghost Gaming posted when he got banned from the EA Creator Network. So I want to go over some of the meaning of those things. And there's some incredibly troubling things in there, some stuff that I've suspected for a little bit, but this essentially proves what I thought DICE has been doing for a little bit here with this title, and that is gaslighting the community. And I know that's kind of a harsh word, but I feel like they're trying to gaslight us into an alternate reality of uh, you know their vision for the game and what they wanna do with the game, even though it's against the community's uh, needs and wants. And the weird thing about this is I, I kind of would always give DICE the benefit of the doubt, right? Like they maybe, you know, they didn't think a scoreboard was that important, or maybe they thought the big wide open maps with 128 players with, you know, a lot of space in between was a cool idea for gameplay, or maybe they thought we would enjoy the specialists and the different gadgets and stuff that they have with the only two factions. And maybe they thought, you know, you know, four post launch maps was enough. And I would just always give them the benefit of the doubt. But in some of these messages that the community manager sent to ghost gaming, essentially what I'm going to show to you guys is that they know that the community doesn't like this stuff, but they do it anyway. I can't understand that right now. I also want to make some comments on the EA Creator Network and essentially at the end of the video, talk about it a little bit. And just if you guys are an aspiring Battlefield creator, any kind of content creator, um, I just want to give some of my advice and opinions on that. I'm not trying to say that I'm a, a hugely successful content creator by any means, uh, but I've been able to have a clear conscience doing it. I've been able to go to sleep at night and uh, I've been able just to uh, be as honest as possible, uh, expound on my thoughts and say what I want to and interact with what's most important. And that's you guys, the community. So um, I want to talk about some of the most troubling things um, within this ghost gaming thing. To set this all up, uh, a Reddit user posted this screenshot uh, by Corlick99 that was really interesting because I thought this has been a little bit of a shift. And it shows, you know, content creators in the past, Doom 49. I don't remember uh, the KTG Chris one, but I do remember Doom 49 broke uh, NDA by publishing a video showing season two gameplay a few days early. Community reaction was positive to that news, so they left him alone. And then they show Ghost Gaming broke the NDA by publishing a Discord message of something that we already knew. Community reaction was negative, so his EA creator status was removed. I don't remember the other one, but you guys can check that out in the middle, that this is a little bit of a double standard going on. And why I think that's important is because this goes along with how DICE has been gaslighting, and I've been suspecting it for a little bit when it comes to how they push content, right? Like, it feels like the vast majority of the content they push are essentially them finishing the game with, you know, finishing the rework maps. I've never seen a AAA game have to go back and rework all of the maps and finish them and fix them and when it comes to stuff like a scoreboard or or even just recently the squad management system they push it forward as if it's content but it's essentially just finishing the game and stuff that we've always had from the get-go there's so many times and you know bringing in even just bringing over the vault weapons these are guns that we've already had and to try to push it as new and exciting content is just such a weird vibe and such an altered sense of reality and the thing that i wanted to bring to your attention why i always just kind of gave them the benefit of the doubt but now i am not so sure about that is some of these community manager posts that was sent to ghost gaming are just a little bit creepy and weird and like an alternate sense of reality i'll, I'll show you what i mean uh, Ghost Gaming said in his first one, sorry I brought this shit storm of negativity your way, Tom. Uh, and he go, I go on, on to talk about how he didn't mean to do that. Uh, Stratford says, folks will find out anyway. Essentially making it sound like, yeah, we know that the content is bad. We know that the squad system doesn't have everything that people are accustomed to. We know it doesn't have things that have worked for years and years and years. We know that people aren't going to like it. But for next time, he says the creator discord uh, is private and they like to keep it that way. Um, the direct screenshot. He did ask him to paraphrase it. So I don't know what that would have changed if Ghost Gaming would have paraphrased it. Other people have done this in the past. Ghost mentioned that a lot of other people have paraphrased clarification uh, from, from what they've said uh, in the past. So he said they would have found out anyway. It's like they're keeping a secret or like he was trying to prepare for the shitstorm of negativity, which all boils down to DICE knew 100% that the community would not like this feature, would not like this lack of features in a game. It makes no sense. And Ghost Gaming was one of the big proponents of getting the squad system back to normal by giving constructive criticism, giving valuable feedback and legit like situations or circumstances 
where having those squad features are vital to how we play Battlefield and getting people together who want to play good together. In one of the subsequent posts, he said, myself and Kev worked very hard to build goodwill with the community by talking earlier and more this month for anything with the new season than we've done before. So sharing that screenshot has ruined most of the goodwill we've built over the month. Not cool. We had a stream plan as well, but I'm thinking of cutting it now because I don't want to subject our teams to that negativity. So it's almost like he was planning a live stream to kind of break the news. And now that it's out, he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to expose the teams to that kind of negativity. But what we're not talking about is why there is that negativity and it makes it sound from his comments that they were planning a live stream to kind of break the news to the community and they knew that it was bad. They knew that people wouldn't like this and I just cannot wrap my head around that because if we want to talk about alternate realities and how DICE is trying to uh, put the blame on Ghost Gaming for this negative news, let, let's let's go ahead and enter the reality. Let's just, let's just think, let's close our eyes and think about a reality where that the squad management system was dropped into the game the way it's worked for years, potentially close to decades. I'm not gonna check my math on that. But for a really long time, we've had a squad system with kicks, bands, and everything's worked out great, being able to lock it and people can play how they want to. Just imagine if they put that squad system in the game, how many people would complain? I honestly can't think of any because no one has in the past. And my granddad used to always say, growing up on the farm, I was worked on the farm, and I would be tinkering or messing with something. And my granddad would always say, if it's if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I would never get what that meant, but it is incredibly pertinent here. The squad system has been fine for a really long time and obviously didn't need change. So I can't really understand why DICE would implement something that they already know isn't working and then going on to silence creators and to keep them into saying what they want to, to continue this gaslit narrative of that this is actually what people want. So on top of pushing, finishing the game, fixing things as new content that we should get excited about, they're also now trying to control the narrative on obviously dislike mechanics being put into the game that they knew the community wouldn't like. And I will give DICE just a little bit of uh, my opinion here and my advice. I will say that I don't believe the squad system implemented in this way will make or break Battlefield 2042, but I can almost guarantee you that not listening to your community continuing to gaslight them can kill a franchise. I am begging you guys to please go back and look at what made Battlefield great. Listen to your community, listen to content creators who are honest and respectful, and you can get this thing turned back around. But this trying to, try to gaslight the community into thinking that we're getting content, into releasing mechanics that you already know, you have admitted that you weren't ready for us to hear about yet because you knew that people would quote unquote find out anyway it makes it really think like you're pushing stuff that you know the community won't like and i completely don't understand that and then what ghost went on to say and let's just talk about the ea creator network just a little bit that there was an inner circle of content creators that would get invited to these things and a lot of content creators wouldn't uh including ghost himself and there was private NDAs for that and all that kind of stuff like that. I will say I have suspected there's kind of an inner circle in the EA Creator Network for quite a while, but I used to always want to try to get in there. I thought it would be really cool to be a part of EA and some of the new stuff that they're doing with the Battlefield franchise, but I didn't put that at the forefront of uh, my content and I'm really thankful that I did. I have never ever not spoken my mind. I've never been dishonest. I have always been able to say what I want to. And it's kind of a shame that people like me, other people, ghosts, people who are honest and uh, say what they feel and what they like and are not afraid to go against some of the things that they're seeing with the franchise they love will never be a part of the EA Creator Network. And I will say this also, think about it as a creator. If you're a creator in Battlefield or any kind of game, be mindful of those things and just think about things that, will, that are going on with that kind of stuff. I will give you this example. Whenever Battlefield 2042 launched and they had a lot of sponsored streams, they had Courage JD who didn't even know when the game was gonna launch. There was a clip going around before launch of 2042 with Courage JD not understanding when the game was actually gonna launch, like he was that disconnected with the franchise, but EA paid him a lot of money to stream. There were a ton of sponsored streams, Shroud had sponsored streams, a lot of the giant content creators had these. And I remember people saying, why don't, why don't the EA creators get that? Why don't the Battlefield creators get that, that have been there a long time? If you're an EA creator, they already know they got you. 
they already know you're going to advertise for free they already don't need to worry about you because you're there they also don't have to worry about kicking ghost gaming out of the ea creator network because there's a hundred if not a thousand more creators that are ready to step up and take its place and make content and advertise the game for free so what i would say as a content creator and this is just my opinion again i just take it for what it's worth because i, I would not consider myself a very successful content creator so just take it for what it's worth i'm just an idiot on the internet it makes more sense to me to focus on your audience speak your truth uh be honest with everybody and focus on the audience and making content for them and not for the studio not trying to get into ea creator network or into any kind of content creator program or anything like that because your true loyalty should rely or should lie with your community so focus on that um, the ea creator network i've seen several creators on there i'm definitely not going to talk about any names or stuff but they just are like an echo chamber of positivity everything that comes out like the squad system clearly panned by anyone in the know or a lot of content or excuse me a lot of veteran players are not excited about not being able to essentially do anything it's not going to hardly change anything with the squad management system and i see a lot of ea creators talking about how excited they are how this is going to be game changing and everyone knows that it's not so don't let yourself get into into the position where you kind of lose your values you lose who is important in this whole thing because ea dice they don't care about you your community does that's where your loyalty should lie guys i'm looking forward to not talking about this anymore but it just kind of is scary the things that are going on behind dice and this kind of proves what i've kind of thought for a while or definitely it may not prove but it definitely supports what i've been thinking for a long time with the potential gaslighting by that community and putting out things that they know we won't like why that is <laughs> i can't really understand uh but i look for some uh more positive videos talking about some other stuff over the weekend thank you guys so much for checking in uh for my opinion and like i said you guys are who i'm loyal to loyal to the people who watch my videos or who i really care about and and i thank you so much for doing so and i hope to see you around on another one